Hello sports fans and a quick one tonight because a few people have been um, PMing me and asking me about the, the setup and about the, the screens. Now this has been kind of touched on in, in some old videos very briefly sort of interspersed in the middle of the video somewhere so I'll keep it really short for people who are asking about the Ifinity setup and stuff like this. Um, so what have we got? It's uh, an R9 280X graphics card, uh, so that's a 3 gig um, ATI or AMD uh, graphics card, nothing overclocked, uh, it's an 8 core AMD processor, um, 8 gig of RAM, uh, it's an 8150 the, the processor should it matter, it's all stock, there's nothing, there's nothing fancy about it, um, obviously then you spread that over 58 100 odd pixels wide by 1080 vertical resolution across three screens um, and that gives you your Ifinity setup spread across across three screens. Um, for those who don't know and I'm sure you're sick and tired of hearing about it now but uh, the CH uh, joystick and throttle, CH Pro throttle, an old CH combat stick um, that's been converted to USB but they haven't really changed it much over the years so it's kind of the same as it is today. Um, and then um, head tracking is provided by this, this head tracker device that you've probably seen and heard about um, that obviously you, you fit on your, your headset and that, that kind of gives you your, your head tracking ability. Um, so, some people were asking about um, how the Ifinity um, perspective looks spread across three screens. Now, right back in the early alpha in fact, one of my very first videos, if you go back and search back, you'll see that there were some problems with um, the perspective on the side screens. Um, it's it's nowhere near as bad now. I mean, there is some kind of fish eyeing, if you like. This these side images are stretched a little bit, but um, but if you you don't actively really look at the side screens when you're playing with Ifinity. You're kind of focusing on the center, but this just gives you some some depth perception. It gives you some perception of targets or things that might be happening to your side. Um, so it's very good in that sense, but you're not really actively using them to look at. It sounds a bit hard to explain, but uh, really you're always focusing on the middle. Now in terms of frames per second, here I am, I know you can't see the, the frames per second output in the corner of the screen, but here on a single player mission I'm getting, it, it's, it's locked out at 60 frames per second, so it's... Uh, you know, it's got V-Sync enabled, and it, it's it's maxing out at 60. So it's it's very smooth, very fluid, no issues with it at all. Um, now, in single player, uh, particularly if you go into an asteroid field in single player, and you've got a lot of NPCs and player characters in there, it drops down. Um, it drops to I, I see about 30 frames per second. Now. Why that would be when obviously graphically this is exactly the same, I can only assume that it's 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 being affected by all the processing to, to, to do the network side of things. So at the moment, I'm not entirely sure. It's clearly the graphics card is capable of running um, Ifinity at 1080p um, at 60 frames per second because it's doing it right now. But on online play, on multiplayer, it, it, it seems to, to struggle. But I don't think that's necessarily a limitation of the graphics card. I think it's just you know, some tuning in the game that still needs to be done. Um, the other question that some people have asked is about um, responsiveness of the head tracker and how much you have to turn your head. Um, so, I will don these. I will reset them. And I should turn it on. So now you can see, basically, if you want to look fully to your left, you don't have to turn your head fully here. This is 90 degrees turning my head, because obviously I can't, I can't see the screen. But that has maxed the view out fully as far as the leak will allow it to go. So if I bring my head back to centre, if I slowly turn, you can see that head motion there reflects as far as you can turn it in-game. And that is, at a guess, what we're talking, uh, I would say not even 20 degrees maybe, 20 degrees of movement. Um, so, so you know, for anybody who doesn't understand the concepts of head tracking, you're not having to move your head a, a, mass a massive amount. You obviously need to keep your eyes on the screen all the time. So, um, so you know, you, you can just move them slightly like this. Uh, I use a um, exponential setting. 
So it's very fine around the centre, but then it ramps up as I move my head more to the left, and same with up, yeah. So to look fully up, I'm just moving my head this amount, as you can see, uh, and the same with down. So, you know, you, you can fully look around without losing eye contact with the screen. And, um, <coughs> and that, that's, at the moment, the settings, how, how much that moves, the sensitivity, is set in code, but uh, Rob, who looks after the, the code for Red Tracker, is working on having this sensitivity be adjustable in the GUI, the Ed Tracker GUI. So, um, so it'll be a lot easier on, on hopefully the next release of the sketch. We're on version 2.10 at the moment, so I'm hoping in, in maybe 2.11 or very soon Rob will have the kind of a, a, a just sensitivity without having to delve into code, basically. Um, in terms of in terms of responsiveness, now you see the problem we've got here, we're trying to show this in a video on YouTube, is that this camera that I'm recording on is capturing at 25 frames a second. So whether we can see this kind of level of reactiveness, whether you can really make out how immediate it is, I'm not quite sure. But it's it's there's very little delay, you know, you can move it pretty quickly. Um, what you don't want to do is that the sensitivity on this at the moment is set at 2G, I think, or 2 or 4G. Um, so being silly with it, you know, exerting more than 4G on this device is going to throw it, yeah, and it's going to lose its, lose it, my, my juice, it's not done too bad actually, but you can see it's gone off slightly. Um, so don't expect it to remain accurate if you're really throwing it around, but obviously most of the time your head movements are quite slow. Um, and, and, and deliberate and, and you don't have a problem. And I've shaken my ear off. Um, what else have some people asked about it? Let me turn that off. Um, I think that's it really, isn't it? Um, I'm going to do some other, so there's some other videos coming up around um, the second part of stealth um, um, investigations that we've done. So, uh, so that'll be coming up soon uh, and also um, some more stuff on Ed Tracker when the, the next, next release comes out. But until then, um, just a quick one there, just for the people that asked. There you go. Um, oh, if you're asking about the graphics card, that's on full settings at the moment. Um, I think all I've got is I've got shadows down to medium, but otherwise everything's on full. So if you're running a single display at 1080p, I would say you know an R9-280X will easily do it for you. Probably a 270 would suffice, but, but certainly a 280 will run triple screen. A 290 comfortably I would say, I've not used one but, but that would be my thoughts but yeah I'm getting by on a 280, I think the, the only stuff I'm really getting is as a result of, um, of the online plan. Okay, right, till next time, see you later commanders, have fun.